Good day, y'all. I wasn't going to make this video. I was planning on getting around to some of my other uh, MGTOW Fun With Words videos. But I felt compelled to express this idea because Brothering Genius made a response to somebody in defense of Spock and uh, Psychological Cynic has been doing a pretty good series on uh, a real man, good man, decent man, yada yada yada. And both these gentlemen have good thoughts. I would say that uh, the PUAs don't have it completely right. In fact, they have a lot of it wrong. The traditionalists don't have it completely right either. Neither do they have it completely wrong. The thinkers, the logical people, don't have it completely right. They don't have it completely wrong. The feminists, of course, don't really know what they want. And some of the other people have been commenting on this. There's an interesting uh, group of people who seem to want to focus on emotion. All thoughts and feelings stem from uh, uh, neuronal pathways or neural pathways that uh, get stimulated over time. It's called long-term potentiation. In the military, they call it muscle memory. In martial arts, they train reflexes. You do something over and over and over again until you do it quite naturally. It, it becomes reflex. It becomes muscle memory. Even musicians know this. If you can't play a song drunk, you shouldn't be playing it at all. And so when you practice controlling your actions, uh, and words are actions, speaking them, writing them, mm, there are those in the Dark Enlightenment that use rhetoric. Rhetoric is good. You know, grammar, logic, thinking, good. And there's those in this uh, blithering genius comment section that want to base all you know, reason and logic from feeling. But these are all things that stem in the brain. And everyone is missing the real point here about what humanity men and women view a real man as. What inspired me to issue this unexpected rant and this is a rant, it's off the top of my head so I am wondering a bit what inspired me to issue this was a particularly insightful comment on Blithering Genius's comment thread. A creature that is so concerned with appearance and illusion of course would love illusion the most. And then that inspired an image. If you ever want to know what men and women, what humanity views currently as a real man. This is a real man. Brock Sampson. He has all the qualities that most human beings, if not all human beings around the world, would identify as masculine qualities. Now, Brock Sampson is a real man in the sense that 
he doesn't speak a lot. When he does speak, it's usually a, a directive, an order. It is usually to an end. And it usually is very terse. Ronk Sampson is a real man. And this is where the PAs have it wrong. That will have sex with any woman. He doesn't have standards. The only standard for Brock Sampson is, is she a woman? Brock Sampson has been known to have sex with 50-year-old Tijuana prostitutes. Brock Sampson has been known to have sex with women who literally needed to have bags put over their heads. Bronx Sampson will just fuck any woman when he wants to have sex with any woman. He practically borders on date rape every time. Uh, he exudes a sort of animal magnetism that all women want and fear. It is as if he can have sex with any one of them, either because they desire him, or either because they're so afraid that he will kill them that they submit. Buck Sampson is also a real man in the fact that he kills. You get in the way of his objective, you offend him, he kills you. He doesn't beat you up. He kills you. Brock Sampson is a real man in the sense that he serves his country. He serves an ideal. He doesn't serve a woman. He does what he wants when he wants to the end of a better society. Brock Sampson is a real man in the sense that he has a buddy as a best friend. Rock Sampson is a real man in the sense that he seems to have uh, no vices, but he also does what he wants when he wants, how he wants to. He is extremely capable and well trained, quick on the uptake. Rock Sampson is a real man. Where the PEAs have it wrong is that a real man doesn't have any standards. Where the traditionalists have it wrong is that a real man doesn't get married and have kids. Where the intellectuals, the logical people, get it wrong is that uh, a real man doesn't philosophize. He doesn't really think about higher ideals. He just ascribes to one, his nation, and he sticks to it. He trusts that the orders he is given are just or serve a higher purpose. Where the feminists have it wrong is that a, a real man may actually border on date rape. Where even these emotional people, these people who are arguing from emotional state, have it wrong. Is that a real man? It, is a contradiction of controlled impulse. He knows when to let out an unreasonable amount of emotion, and he knows when to not let out any at all. Now I picked Brock Sampson because he is an illusion. He is a cartoon character. A caricature of what every human being, man and woman around the world would consider to be a real man. A uber alpha male. A super alpha male. A, a, a primatologically based alpha male. It's not real. 
this concept is not real. I'm going to let that sink in there for a second. Now it's important to understand that any language is insufficient. Knowledge and experience are relative. We could go into a long rant about this, but I won't. I will just say that English is not a perfect language. It is the language of poets, but it's still not a perfect language. It's insufficient. And relative onto who's listening, and what they already know, understand, experience, their knowledge, skills, abilities, you may not be getting your point across. So, to everyone who wants to fuss about this idea of a real man, well, here it is. And it's an illusion. Yours truly. Yeah.